Removal of the bar gauge manifold. Yep, and there's only 11 steps on this, okay? 11 steps. So we're gonna go ahead, and the first step is, look, one thing I wanna point out to you, this is aimed down, this is gonna get in the way. The reason they make the angle on the gauge is so that we can put the hose up and then tighten it up so it's out of the way. Now, when I go to back seat, my unit's running is the first step. That's okay, we can keep that running. But I'm gonna back seat my king valve to block the gauge port right now. So now I've blocked that stem all the way down and the pressure's off here. So I have opened this. I wanna suck the refrigerant that's in here back into the unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this discharge, my, my pressure gauge valve. It's hooked up to, sometimes it's on the discharge line. In this case, it's on my liquid line on the king valve. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my suction side, my compound gauge valve. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it slowly pull the liquid from here back over. You saw it go up a little bit. Once these both equalize, they're both the same, right? So if this one hits at about 20, this one should stop at about 20 once I've, look at that. I'm still doing this in all that liquid. That would have been a couple ounces of refrigerant. And this thing only takes six, seven, eight ounces really. It's not that much. So when I'm disconnecting the gauge, I could lose half the charge that we just put in by just opening and closing the gauge hoses when I disconnect it. Now that's it there. Now, if this keeps going back up, I might need to tighten. This could be bleeding back a little bit more and I might need to tighten this. All right, but this is good. We're good. It's not going back up beyond there, which means I still have a little bit of liquid left. Once I make sure we get all the liquid, we lost our, there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna backseat my suction service valve here, okay? Make sure both the gauges are closed. Backseat my suction service valve. And we're good. Now I can go ahead and safely disconnect the gauges. We're gonna lose a little bit still, but no liquid came out, just de minimis, a little bit of vapor. Remember, always cap the hoses. So if we're not being used anymore, we're gonna cap the hose here cap the hose here and we can pull the other hose off the tank and cap that as well when we're ready. The tank was shut off. We didn't have the tank on from before. So that was always been off. And then don't forget, you've got to put the caps on everything. We don't leave the caps off because the valve could still be leaking. Even though it's back seated all the way, it might have some dirt in that seat and it's not letting it seal all the way. So just as an extra measure, and then you can leave the system, and that caps for the tank actually, in operation.